everybody welcome to jelly everything so today i'm going to do um i'm gonna talk to you guys about well i'm gonna try to talk to you guys about everything and i mean everything 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 i can think of you might need to do your nail journey starting from the basics things all the way down to um decorations and things for simple things that are simple but beautiful like easy to do but the result looks like you the result look like it's something that would be hard to do but you just know how to do it right so i think i'll break this down in three parts um the first part is going to be basically kind of like the basics the foundational stuff right so sorry if i sound a little windy i don't know why i'm kind of windy right now but anyway so let's get started um the very beginning i even made like a little list here so you could so we could i can keep myself um grounded and concentrating on what i'm talking about and i know these videos are like a probably like a bunch of them on youtube but I don't know. I just want to I just want to contribute, you know. Just let me contribute, you know. Just let me be happy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So, let me get started. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is like your prep tools, your basic um tools when it comes to getting your nails ready for whatever you're about to do, whether that be your acrylic or your poly gel or your gel. And keep in mind, I'm not a professional. I don't have a um, my license, but this is just from my experience, okay? Based on what I use when I'm doing my nails, right? Or have used. And the first thing is, I'm pretty sure y'all know what that is, and that is a cuticle pusher, okay? This is great for if you don't have much experience with your drill, you're not yet comfortable enough using your drill, and you need to, you know, use it to push your cuticles back and get that skin off your nail plate. This is my favorite cuticle pusher. Um, you can get cuticle pushers of all types to see which one you like best in kits from Amazon. You can get cuticle pushers for Shein for the low. Um, so those are really the main places I suggest getting them from. Okay, if you're going to strictly order offline, I'm pretty sure you could probably go into like a Ross or like a TJ Maxx and find like a little nail kit and that would be great too. But yeah, that's really where I've gotten mine from. I think I got this one in a kit of some kind. But this is my favorite one because the this little edge right here is not as sharp as the other ones. Okay, so cute pusher next thing is a product scraper and this is more so for when you remove your products when you soak off your um acrylic or your acetone or your gel or whatever in um in acetone and you get that little residue and you can scrape the remaining product off your nails these are what i've used that's this one if anybody's ever wondered what the little triangle head is that is for scraping product off your nails you can also i think i also got this one in a kit from amazon it might have came with this one um but it was a kit with some some lip free nail wipes i think and um i think it was like a nail soak off kit i got it from so yes and this is another one i have this one is actually from the dollar tree um i don't know if they still have these in dollar tree but a dollar 25 and it's kind of sharp here and you just you know scrape the product off after you soaked it soaked your nails so that is product scrapers next thing I want to show you is cuticle nippers sorry for the shaking these let me see if I can get it to stop these are some cuticle nippers I have one of many pairs well one of a few pairs I have um, this little kitty thingy, little kitty paw is to protect it from, well, really protect me from cutting myself. And also, I guess, protect the head of it from scraping against stuff. But, yes, yeah, so, these are just basic pair. And I believe these came with these, too. I'm not sure. I think so. But, you can get these 
Amazon. Shein has some good ones up there. I think I can, some of them are cheap. I think I got these from Shein right here. And they pretty good. I like those. And my favorite is pair, I would say, is these right here from Shein. These were like $4. And these are my favorite pair. They got a little grip, good um, rubber grip handle on there. And they're nice and sharp. And these are actually from the Dollar Tree. I was curious about these because these are the most good quality looking cuticle nippers I've seen in the Dollar Tree. And these work pretty good. And I, my little cat paws fit on it. So that makes me happy. So Dollar Tree, Amazon, Shein is where I got mine from. Pretty sure you can find some from either one of those locations. Even if you go, like I said before, and get like a nail kit from Ross or like TJ Maxx or Burleson, whatever you have in your area, pretty sure you can find something there. So, my next thing, um, let's see, is alcohol. And this does me a great deal of service when I'm cleaning stuff up, helps keep stuff clean, and also, um, Helps you wipe the sticky layer off of gel um, for filing and all that stuff like that. So, you can get alcohol anywhere from Walmart. I got this little container that it's in from Amazon and like a pack of two. And, um, yeah, so I just labeled it myself and put my alcohol in. I think this is 70%. But, you know, you can get alcohol from Walmart, any drugstore, Walgreens, Rite Aid, you know, Target, any, any places, common places near you, you can find alcohol in. Okay, next thing is acetone. Now, if you go to the Dollar Tree, you recognize it's acetone. I got this from the Dollar Tree, as well as many other ones. It came in this nice little pump bottle. Make sure you grab the one that says 100% acetone because they do have ones that are non-acetone um, polish removers. So, um, yeah, it lasts a long time. The pump is nice. It doesn't feel raggedy. It's $1.25. All right. Next thing is hand sanitizer. All right. Sorry, it's a little dusty from all that nail dust, but hand sanitizer. <laughs> um, you can get, in the beginning of the pandemic, this was much harder to find. This and alcohol were much, much harder to find. But now it's pretty much back in stock. You can get it from Walmart. Um, I don't even know where I got this particular one from, but or try to remember to use it before you start doing your nails. It'll help, you know, wash your hands. I wash my hands and try to sanitize before I do my nails just to keep my hands as and my nails as clean as possible when I start doing nails. It can help prevent lifting. And you don't want nothing gross to be stuck up under your nails and turn into something bad for you later on. So, yeah. Mm, let's see. So, scissors. Okay. So, scissors. I got these particular pair from Shein. These are my favorite scissors. I use these to cut out decorations. Some people use them to cut their nail tips. I don't like scissors to cut my nail tips. I use these to cut out small things and decorations. That's just me. I think they were like $3 on Shein or maybe two something. I'm not, excuse me, I'm not quite sure. But I recommend getting a pair of them. They come in handy at some point. Okay, next thing is a scrub brush that I recommend. It's a scrub brush. Uh, whichever one of these you like better. These right here are my preference. I use these for when I'm cleaning my hands and cleaning my nails. I use these for cleaning my drill bits. Um, I do recommend these. Now, these aren't necessarily a necessity, but I do recommend if you get a nail kit and one of these come with your nail kit, I do recommend that you hold on to it. Um, they, it will come in handy, but it's not necessarily a necessity. Now, you can also use this kind of in the place. One thing I used to do before I got a dust brush was I would use this in the place of my dust brush and help get the dust and stuff off my fingers. And it works just as good. So, 
You can get like a pack of these from Amazon. They're real cheap. I think they got some with Sally's. You can get packs at nail supply stores online for inexpensive um, um, Amazon for inexpensive price. So, yeah. Next thing is a dust brush, right? Come in very, very many designs and in and, and sizes. Um, but these are my main ones that I reach for the most. Um, this rose one I got from Shein, if you're liking. I either got it from Shein or Amazon. I don't remember. But I got it from, um, I think it was Amazon. But you can find some of these on Shein. Um, you can find some on Amazon. You can find some on Alley. Same with this one. I think I got this one from a kid. I'm sorry if you see all this dust coming off of it. But anyway. And I got this one, I think, from Amazon. So, these come in handy a great deal. Dust and stuff off your desk, your hands. Um, if you need, like, something gentle to dust off your equipment with, like your drill or your lamp maybe got dusty or some remaining dust on your dust collector, you don't want to be awkwardly dragging that rough brush across that stuff. Understandable. It will come in handy at some point. So, yeah, just, you know, grab one. You don't need three. Get you one. You can get a little small one, and that will, that'll suit you just fine, I think. Next thing is also a basic. I'm pretty sure y'all know this. Y'all saw this coming. Nail clippers. Now, I got a pair of regular ones as well, like the curved ones. These were straight edge. I do recommend maybe having one of both, like a straight edge one and a curved one. Um, I use the straight edge ones for doing shapes like um, almond and coffin and stiletto. Um, whenever you need to clip something sh straight, obviously. Um, the curved ones I use on my natural nails mainly when I want to cut them down to do a fresh set. That's what I use. Um, yeah, so definitely recommend getting you out of most out of the two a straight edge one because even with the straight edge one you can still cut your natural nails with it and just if you're fine with them being straight across you can do that but if you want to give them more like a rounded shape you can do that with a file so yeah that's it that. now like i just mentioned files and buffers okay so files and buffers they come in many different grits many different um colors um shapes now my particularly favorite shape of files is the jumbo ones i also like um i like every last one of them except the s curve ones i like the um what is this the rhombus one um and so this is the rhombus one or like a rounded rhombus one i'm not sure if that's actually the rhombus one but yeah um this is the jumbo that's the big square this is the half moon files i don't know if i have a tiny one like a small one. okay yes i do this is just a regular file um i don't know if i have an actual like a Ooh. Mm, like an old school rhombus one. Mm, I don't know if I do or not. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. But these are the, the, the shapes I primarily use. I primarily reach for. These ones here, if you don't have a drill, the half moon ones are really good for going around rounded surface areas like your cuticle. Um... I suppose these are two here doing it there. I don't primarily use them for that. I prefer my drill for going around my cuticle. But I don't know. I just prefer these shapes. Now, you have different grits to these files and different. These files come in different colors. Do the colors. Do I know for a fact the colors mean something? No. But there are white files like this one, which in my opinion tend to be a little bit coarser. I would think like more of a rough file 
the blacks are probably, in my opinion, the smoothest files. And the um, these are called zebra files, which are like a mix of black and white, like a zebra, right? They seem to be more of like a medium smoothness that you feel when filing. That's just from my experience. I don't know if that's exactly true, but based off the files that I've used and, you know, using them, that's just what I've, that's just what, you know, my perception. Um, now, different grits. Um, the most common grit you're going to find is 180. I think that's perfectly fine for doing acrylic nails. 100 is great. For the acrylic style, 180 is the best as far as the two choices for your natural nails. If you don't own a drill and you just want to buff the surface with your natural nail, use the 180 side. The higher the number, the finer the grit. So the higher the grit number is, that means that it's not as rough. The file isn't as coarse. The higher up the number goes. Okay, so you looking at an 80 grit file. Do I even have an 80 grit file? I do. It's a white 80, 80 panel file. It's very coarse. I don't know if you can see how coarse it is compared to this. Um, this side is 100. Let me see. Can you, can you tell? This is the 100. This is 80. Then you got 180. And I know you can definitely see the difference between 100 and 180. So for those who don't don't know that, that's you know to help you guys out with that. So 100, 180 is probably the most common. Um, people sometimes people use 80, 80 when they want that sharp, 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 sharp shooter, you know, um, file line on their nails, and that's cool too. I think my preference as far as files if anybody is curious it's probably 120 150s 100s i would say and of course 180s for natural nails but i don't primarily use a file on my natural nails like on the surface of them i might file the edge and yeah i might use 180 for that but as far as for doing acrylics 150s 120s and 100s and 150s and 120s is just a little bit harder to find than 100 180s but this just my two cents on that okay next thing we're going to get into oh wait i forgot the buffer sorry this is the buffers i primarily use now there are like block block buffers which i might insert like a picture of so you know what i mean out there while i'm talking about it because i don't have one on me i gave all of them to my mom that I had because I don't reach for them it's not that I don't like them I just don't reach for them so I primarily use file buffers and you can get these on Amazon a pack of 20 for 10 dollars or like even um I think they got a few on Shein they got some on Timu they got some on um AliExpress you can get these really anywhere online that you go like that's a main strain that people use to go to, you know, like Amazon, something like that, to get nail stuff. That's not a site specifically for nail stuff. You can probably get those anywhere. But these are my favorite buffers. As you can see, they are well loved. I prefer usually the 180 side. I will try to get into the habit of starting at the 100 side. Um so that I can buff more of a large area and get it um, more larger surface area, smoother in the end, and then or more level, I should say, and then flipping over to the one hundred, the one eighty side to get like a smoother surface. So these are ones I primarily use. Everybody don't like these, but I'm I, I'm special. <laughs> I'm special. Mm, let's see what else oh and the the straight clippers the ones i have some i've seen some ones on sheen i even have a pair from sheen that's straight edges if you're having trouble finding those you can get those from sheen i think i think i think they're still available on there but i definitely have a pair 
um, from Shein, and that those look like this with the straight edge clippers. Aren't they cute? The little rainbow ones. Ooh, they're so cute. If you're like me, you love aesthetically pleasing stuff. Okay, what we got next? So the next category I got is like, um, as far as basics is concerned, is nail building and sculpting products, right? So, um, got acrylic monomer, which is the first thing, and this primarily what I use. I like, um, but yeah, secret is really what I reach for. If I'm being honest, I reach for that more than anything. As y'all can see, like some of it leaked out and kind of missed my label. Of I don't even know if y'all can see. Let me see, but it kind of made it ugly a little bit but it ain't completely destroyed so it's okay um but yeah i primarily reach for me a secret i have been using it since i just since i found it um for a while and it's just i don't know it's just what i like the most so this is the monomer to come in a, you can get it from amazon you can get it from nail supply glamour um they might even have some on ebay i don't get stuff from ebay no more i had a couple bad experiences that i don't i don't tend to go on on ebay no more i just get it from amazon because i can return it easier um yeah so me a secret monomer the smell is i mean i think i'm pretty used to the smell at this point so it doesn't bother me that much but i've heard people saying that it bothers them so I guess it really depends. I feel like if you're not used to doing your nails, if you're just if you're just starting, the smell is gonna be loud to you. But I feel like when you get to a certain point and you're pretty used to the smell of monomer, it doesn't bother you that much. And that's where I'm at. So I can't really give you an accurate profile description of what this smell is gonna be like for you. You get what I'm saying? But this is probably my favorite online so far. And also we're just gonna show you the powder as well. I've had this 8 ounce of powder for a long freaking time. When I tell you, a long time. This is an 8 ounce jar, as y'all can see. This is um, I'm like halfway through it, if you can see. About halfway through. Maybe a little under halfway. Um, And it's been lasting me a long time. I have yet to have to replace this, replace this jar. How long have I had this jar? I want to say I had it and I had used it a couple times before I stopped doing nails completely. And I've started back and been using this only ever since, which has been three years since the pandemic started. And I, I don't do my nails twice a week. So twice a week, three years at about 90% of the stuff. This is where I'm at. I'm about halfway through. And y'all can see, when if you watch my prior videos with doing this particular nail set that i have on do you know i'm very heavy-handed with acrylic i will slather it on okay so yeah it's my favorite you can also get this from amazon by the way and um nail supply glamour and i think ebay i don't know i haven't looked on ebay in a long time so don't quote me on that one but i know you can get it from amazon and nail supply glamour i've been on there pretty recent pretty fairly recently another one i can recommend to you guys that i've tried <clears throat> is this one now i'm not listen is nail light i like nail light <laughs> i like nail light guys i've had nail light for a long time i don't i do not do not not i don't like the odorless monomer just because of my own body chemistry it just doesn't the smell doesn't sit right with me i prefer the loud monomer i don't really like no odorless monomer to be honest it takes too long to dry and the smell just digs a pit in my stomach and it makes me feel sick on the stomach but i do i don't mind a regular one and i do I do. I mean, it doesn't bother me. It's worked fine for me. I haven't had any problems with it. I feel like they kind of affordable. If you go on their website, is it on there? You can see the website on the bottle. Let me see if you can see it actually. Can y'all see it? So the website is www.nailite, N-A-I-L-I, 
T E I N C, like nail light ink.com. If you want to give it a try, I, I mean, you could try it for yourself. I think they got like a little try kit that you can go up there and buy, but I like it. I really, I use a regular. Sometimes if I give out of me a secret, I will probably use this. And now I have the odorless powder, which really, I mean, the powder don't handle smell really no way. So it was supposed to pair with the odorless monomer, but I just use it with the regular. I don't know how bad it is, but I do. This is one I, I use in clear. And this is a four ounce jar, I think. No, it's eight ounce. Hold on a minute now. Let me prepare. How different are they? Can y'all see what I'm asking? How different are these jars? I mean, they're fairly the same. They're close to being the same. Yeah, they 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 all right. They close. They close, I guess. But I use it with this. Now, try at your own risk because just because I like something don't mean that you don't like it. But I think the safest one to go with here is probably Mia Secret because a lot of people tend to like um, Mia Secret. Oh, what did I drop? Oh, my glasses fell. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, so I think a lot of people tend to like Mia Secret. Now, stuff that I haven't tried, but... I've heard good things about if you just maybe y'all just don't know maybe you really fresh in the game and you just you know happen to play this video and you genuinely just don't know where to start they have some Moroban kits that I've heard people like see tutorials talking about I think I think she did one of her of her, a review for a Moroban acrylic kit and she said it was pretty good so I think so let me know if I'm lying in the comments I don't know but I heard that was pretty good. Nail Supply Glamour, I heard that acrylic was pretty good. So those are other ones. If you, you know, you know how you just, you, you hear something and you're like, hmm, that's the one I want to try. You don't have no rhyme or reason as to why you want to try that one. But it's just the one that you want to try because it sound good. So maybe, maybe you like that and you're just like, hmm, well, none of those sound interesting to me. But that Nail Supply Glamour, that sound kind of interesting. So, I don't know. Just throwing those out there for people who might want to, you know, experiment with stuff. Who like to experiment with stuff like me. Okay. So, we're going to move on. Um, Next thing I want to talk about is your acrylic brushes. That is very, very, very important. Acrylic brushes are one of the most important things you can buy. I actually didn't know whether I should include them in the big stuff which is which would should be part two of this video the big stuff category or what but here we are because you need them to do acrylic um and this is primarily what i'm talking about acrylic um but yeah so here are your options that i can recommend the most out of all of them that this one is a cat's brush this brush is around 17 dollars on amazon and that's about the cheapest i have seen brushes that were good now i destroyed brushes cheek brushes all the time when i first started my nail journey it was no surprise i thought all brushes were made equal i thought it was the same thing not true. Not true. They're not made equal at all in the slightest, I promise. When I happened upon this brush, and I actually got this one from AliExpress. And I think they might be a little cheaper on Ali, but don't quote me because don't quote me because I'm not 100 percent sure if it's the actual brand or if it's just a seller that's just saying it's the brand. So I don't know. But I I was gonna get me some more. Just to have his back up if I destroyed this one. Because I do like this brand. Um, I got this brand when I started my nail journey over. Because my other ones, my other brushes that I had from prior were ruined. And they were extremely cheap. So 
the ones that I had actually spent a little money on also got ruined. <laughs> so they had to go up out of here. So yes. Um cats. This one's a twelve. Um I think I might have paid twelve bucks for it from AliExpress. Um, but then again, you know, like I, I I don't remember the seller that I got it from. That was like three years ago, so yeah, but they still have cast brushes on AliExpress. If you're willing to take the chance to see if it's the correct brush, you you know, have at it. Let us know. Um, but until I know, I'm not going to say get it from AliExpress. AliExpress. I don't know why I just trust. I just, I don't know. But anyway. But they also have these on Amazon, but they're $17 on Amazon. These are panels. And these are expensive. Anybody who's looked for a brush know the panel brushes are expensive. These are brushes are like thirty dollars a piece. Um, I actually didn't get this one for thirty dollars. I got this one at the start of the pandemic, and I swear to God, it was like seventeen dollars. I promise you, it was like seventeen dollars. It was on sale for like half off or something. I don't know, but that was the first time. That's the first and last time I ever seen a panel brush on sale. Okay. So, I got this up. I didn't even know. When I started my nail journey, I didn't even know Panel was a good brand. I didn't know. I just got very lucky with Cas and Panel. So, both of them are 12s. This one's much fuller than the other one, as you can see. You know, both are 12s. So, keep that in mind when buying brushes. Some 12s might be fuller than, other, fuller than others. Fuller brushes tend to hold more monitor. Okay. So, yeah. This one. This is also a Panel size 12 and i know y'all seen this brush before this beautiful brush before i really wanted this one when i started my nail journey but this one was sold out so i got this one instead and i think this one has a cuticle pusher on the end um but this one actually out of all three is my favorite brush so yeah but this is panna size 12 we all seen this one before also thirty something dollars now, and a great brush. Honestly, it's probably, it's worth the thirty dollars to be honest. They don't get dirty easily, like get gross easily, and they will last you. So by the time you spend thirty dollars on a bunch of cheap brushes over and over again, you might as well have got a panel <laughs> or or cags. You might as well have got a panel or got you two cags brushes and been done with it. <laughs> To be honest, so I recommend just I recommend getting like maybe a cheaper brush to start out with, just till you get the hang of it. But also have you like a more expensive brush for when you get the hang of it, and you can kind of practice with that and see the difference in the brush. That's kind of what I recommend because I'm my thing is how can you know what to do if you don't have good stuff? Like how can you know where? How can you draw the line of distinction between? What if it's you that's messing up or if it's the product that's messing you up? If you don't have a good product to take that control out of the experiment. You get what I'm saying? So, that's something to consider. Next thing is nail, um, nail paper towels. Where is mine? Okay, here we go. And like I told you before, guys, before in the previous video, these are like the shop towels from walmart and automotive section you get a pack of two for um what is it like three dollars i think pack of two for three dollars um i also have these ones which is by the same brand Ooh, excuse how how crazy it look right now stop behave you embarrassing me okay as you can see this one has a little hexagons on it i actually got these from walmart online you know how when you go to Walmart and you're trying to buy something, but you want free shipping and your item, that the one item that you want, it is not enough to give you free shipping. So you add stuff to get free shipping, even though it's like you might as well have just paid shipping. <laughs> but yeah, I just added like a few shop towels in there just to make free shipping. And I didn't know there was a difference between the ones that I, the one that I have and the ones that I had gotten. I actually really like these better. I've only seen them online. So there's that. I'm not sure what, I think it's like ultra strong or something. I'm not sure, but 
these are probably my favorite ones, to be honest, with the little hexagons. And I feel like they clean better. So, that's something to consider as well. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, nail tips. All right, guys. Nail tips. As soon as I can put my hands on. These are my nail tips. These are just your running your run of the meal nail tips from Amazon size zero through nine. Um, nine being the smallest, the lowest number being the largest. Um, nail tips can come in a variety of colors. Um, this is natural set. I think I got these. I got these with something else. As you can see, these ones have a little bit more of a curve to it, and I'm gonna show you and actually are a little thinner than the other ones as well if i can take one out that would be great i think they have a little bit more of a curve to it just a can y'all see that kind of sort of kind of sort of a little bit more of a curve they're not perfectly straight but um i don't even own perfectly straight tips i don't think i just kind of prefer mine to have like a slight curve i don't want to be curved all the way over but just to be straight, kind of with a like slight curve, it's kind of my it's kind of my jam. So you can find straight tips on Amazon. I'm sorry I don't have any to show you guys. They also have like not Amazon, but they also have like novels. I'm uh, not novelty, but specialty tips. Like these are like blue jelly tips that I got from um, AliExpress a while ago. I can't link the seller. I, I don't know. I, I'll try to find it if y'all want me to. But, um, yeah. I haven't really used these in a set before. But I, when I saw them, I thought they were so cute. Like, I couldn't even... I couldn't even believe, like, how cute they were. But, um, yeah. So... Maybe one day I'll use them. Mm. But if y'all want me to find them, I definitely will do that. I will try to find them for y'all if you like them. They also come with tips. They also have tips on AliExpress that are patterns. Like you can just glue it to your nails or white tips where you can just glue to your nails and it looks like you have a French tip with a design on it or a white French tip. I don't have any white tips, unfortunately, because I don't really do French like that. So I don't even, I don't even buy them. Um, let me see. But it's an option for you if you would like to do that. It'd be easier for you to do a French. Nail tips. So we already talked about it. Okay, nail glue. So this is nail glue I'm using currently. This is just like some weird it's not really like a on brand nail glue that I just I just got it from Amazon. It's brush on. If I can take it out. And it is Magic Armor Pro's Choice Nail Glue. And I keep it in this little thingy. My bob. So it doesn't fall because I'm so scared of, of it falling over onto like a napkin and catching on fire. Because nail glue is flammable, guys. When it comes to contact with paper, it heats up. So be careful. Okay? And it can smoke and stuff. Um, and catch on fire. But, you know, people use the KDS kind. I've used that. It's cool. I've had the Mia Secret brush on kind. It's cool. It's all pretty much the same. Glue to me, has, my experience has just been glue. I have this kind, which is like an off-brand kind. And nobody cares about what the name of it is. But it's been the McCart kind. I would say it's probably my favorite kind. Um... So, yeah, um, most people buy KDS, though, but in my experience, glue is glue. It's been gluing. None of them, none of my nails have feel like they've been weak. But I tell you that I do notice that with some cheaper glues, it takes forever for it to dry. And you're sitting there holding this tip onto your nails. But I do recommend at least holding, the, you know, by default when you glue a tip on your nails, so at least hold it up there for about eight seconds just to make sure. Because it is so aggravating when the glue is super wet and super slippery. And it doesn't dry quickly to just sit there with a slippery nail and hold that glue on. So, let's see. What's the next thing? 
nail prep and dehydrator okay so wait a minute wait a, wait a minute. minute where's my nail prep hold on one second here where is it I have no idea. I don't know. And I'm feeling kind of lazy. I like to look for it. I'll just show you guys my 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 other prep. If I can get to it. That's that's the real question. Can you get to it? Oh, there it is. Okay. This is my other prep. <laughs> This is actually a nail light prep and that I've had for a long, long, long ass time. They don't even sell it no more. That's how long I had it. And it's been doing me pretty well. I'm sorry that it looks so janky and gross, but it hasn't given me any problems. I've u I used the, what the other one? Morovan. What was it? Was it Morovan? I think it was the Morovan prep. Um, before that works good, but those are these two are primarily the ones that I use this one and the Moroga one. Um, oh, and this is a prep, but I really don't consider it a prep, even though that's what it is. It's a young nail swipe, it's like a cleanser and a prep. Um, it dries, and what prep does, if you don't know, it dries your nail beds out, it gets the um natural oils that your skin. Um, produces and your nails and cuticles produce out of your nail bed and that helps your product adhere longer to your nails to help reduce lifting so these are the ones that I use which is the swipe I use that in conjunction with another prep just because I don't know my fingers be oily sometimes even though my skin is dry my fingers be oily anyway next thing is primer now i tend to use also the primer and prep well i try to that uh, goes with the brands of acrylic that i'm using because they are formulated to work the best together and you can't guarantee a different company's product is going to be chemically compatible with the next company's product you know so that might cause complications with lifting if they're not compatible and then you'll be wondering, well, why my why my nails is lifting off? Why this been two hours and oh, half my nail gone from the back? That might be why. So I tend to stay within the product range, or at least I try to. Um, this is the um, this is the um primer, the Mia Secret Extra Bond. I got this from eBay a while ago when I first started my nail journey over, because I didn't have a lot of stuff that I that I you know used to have and what I did have still was like extremely 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 cheap and terrible quality okay so that's that on that and so far oh wait I almost forgot this one thing alongside tips and this is the last thing that I'm gonna talk about in this video second to last thing no last thing last thing alongside tips i prefer these now scissors are interchangeable with these some people use scissors to cut their nail tips i don't i prefer these because it's just easier it's more fluid it just feels more natural to me also what you can do with these um i don't think it's recommended to do but this is what i do right these are my these are my bougie ones and I have some cheap pairs over here that I just got from I have no idea where I got these from but Amazon I don't know some cheap pairs that you can get from Amazon or Shein or AliExpress or anywhere and when I'm doing my nails since I tend to do my nails thick regular nail clippers cannot get down here to my apex or where my natural nail starts cut off so i just do this and cut the length off 
with these and it works fine obviously i'm not gonna do that now because i want to keep this set on but listen i haven't had any problems yet be careful because the blade is sharp right so make sure you watching where your meat's at when you do that if you're gonna do what i do watch where your meat is on the bottom when you go and cut. obviously don't turn it this way but i'm just trying to show you be aware of where your meat is because you don't want to it can come all the way down here but you don't want to cut your meats because that's gonna hurt okay so that is it i think that concludes everything for this particular video um yeah i think so but anyway if you guys have any questions comments or concerns or um anything else really or you guys want to know where a specific where the tips are from or anything else that you might have seen which i mean i don't know you might you know let me know in the comments um if you just stopping by to say hello um also let me know in the comments too i want to thank you guys again everybody who's watching my videos and supporting me and commenting and liking oh, it just warms my wicked little heart it really does um it really does it makes me so happy so i appreciate you guys so much for subscribing and liking and commenting and doing all those great things and i hope you guys will be back and um you know enjoy the content of the time and i will be on some of you guys channels who have channels looking at yourself cloud watching wondering where you trying to figure out where you got stuff wrong too so yeah thank you guys so much i appreciate all of it everything you guys done um like subscribe comment share if you're new here if you leave you just like your girl and you want to keep watching videos please feel, please feel free to do so um but in the meantime you guys um stay tuned for part two where i go into let me see my little book just to make sure where i go into the big shit okay so in that video we're going to be talking about um electronics like gel lamps nail drills different types of nail drills we'll be talking about things in conjunction with the electronics you use um drill bits sandy bands that type of stuff um i'll make some recommendations based on what i've tried and what i've seen um i'm gonna try to keep people's price ranges in mind so i'm gonna try to at least have one or two recommendations per you know kind of price category so you guys if you lost and you have no clue of what you're looking for or you have no clue where to begin i can kind of help you with that give you some recommendations with that as well um and then the third video is going to be nail art i'm going to show you guys nail art stuff tell you where you can get it from um give, tell you how much it costs to the best of my recollection um which might not be very accurate if i'm telling the truth um but yeah um stay tuned for those once again thank you for watching like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in part two okay bye bye